All right, another little update video. So here, we got the Raspberry Pi. It's running right there. And if you notice, this uh, mini US micro USB cord goes into the breadboard, which is then um, used, uh, we used a voltage regulator circuit diagram as shown here, which you can get online. And then that goes into the battery pack. And so that's what's powering the Raspberry Pi right now, making for a portable solution. The idea is possibly to get it all on fit on this guy to then have it completely portable. So that's the deal. Now this circuit, you can uh, definitely get instructions online, but I had some issues. Well, first off with this little, with the uh, voltage regulator chip, it doesn't really fit in the breadboard very well, but I read online you can actually rotate these 90 degrees, just to bend them back and forth and then you can rotate them 90, and then they fit in better. And then also I had this diode backwards and I was getting like uh, 400 millivolts on the output and then I switched the diode around and I got exactly five volts. So it takes in like anywhere from seven to uh, like 40 volts and it'll output five volts. Um, you got a inductance wire here, two capacitors, some jump wires, um, and that's uh, that's pretty much the circuit. So, yeah, uh, pretty cool to have it be running on the battery power. So we got a uh, six six double uh, A batteries here, putting out nine volts and then dropping down to five volts. So we'll check this voltage regulator, make sure it's not too hot, which. Surprisingly, it's not. We're only putting in a little bit. So I did get a heat sink though, which I might try to attach. But other than that, that's it for now. Um, yeah.